हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इकोनॉमिका आई डॉक्टर गोपाल बी सारस्वत वेलकम यू ऑल टुडे द टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज क्रॉनबैक अल्फा व्हिच इज अ मेजर ऑफ रिलायबिलिटी एनालिसिस एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस एंड व्हाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट इन अ क्वेश्चन आयर once you got a response you conduct a pilot study and you calculate a reliability to do whether your questionnaire is reliable or not so you can check out my video on reliability versus validity for knowledge and information about cronbeck alpha so in today's video what we are going to do we are having this data set and we are calculating the cronbeck alpha using microsoft excel so how to calculate and once we are able to calculate then what is the meaning of that cronbeck alpha value we are going to discuss in this video so let's start the video so here we have a data set or the responses this is the id of the my responses 1 2 3 4 gender age of my respondent it started from 18 to 20 20 to 22 then after the 22 24 and 24 and above religion hindu muslim sikh and christ state uttar pradesh himachal pradesh andhra pradesh and madhya pradesh family income is in lakhs and i also ask a question where do you invest so i have given their them different choices so this is how they come up with why do you invest this means that for purpose of investing return risk tax or safety the category of investors in terms of behavior it is a high risky investor low risky or medium term and that horizon for investment in years 1 2 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 and 7 and more so this is the data set so the first thing first first thing is i have to code this data but before that i need to understand that how to calculate cronbeck alpha which is a measure of reliability so for that we have this formula here cronbeck alpha is alpha is equal to k upon k minus 1 here k is the number of questions we have and k minus 1 is minus 1 from the number of questions so here we have a list of questions gender age religion state and total nine questions we have but i am not going to include gender because it is just one and zero i am just going to stick with the eight questions from age religion state family four where do you invest five six seven and eight only so my k become eight and k minus become seven then variance minus sum of variance divided by a variance so once you multiply these two you will get a value of cronbeck alpha and here certain meaning to those values whatever the values you are able to calculate for cronbeck alpha whether this is questionnaire is reliable these responses are reliable or not we are going to check with it so first i converted this data into codes i am just going to show you your my code book here you can see the age 18 to 20 i will code code it as 1 20 to 22 as 2 22 to 24 3 and 24 and above as 4 gender i am not considering here religion hindu 1 2 3 and 4 state up hp ap and mp 1 2 3 4 income 3 to 5 1 5 to 7 2 7 to 9 3 and 9 and above 4 where do invest post office 1 equity market 2 gold 3 fdr 4 mutual fund 5 why invest or why do you invest rather why do you invest so return 1 risk 2 tax 3 and safety 4 risk category of the investor low 1 medium 2 and high 3 time horizon 1 to 3 then 1 3 to 5 years 2 5 to 7 3 3 and 4 so this is how i am going to code it in this video i am not going to let you know how to code these variables for that i will going to prepare a, a fresh video here i am going to just tell you how to calculate cronbeck alpha 
so here you can see this is my coded sheet where i have just coded id is the same gender 10 and 0 age 1 2 3 4 like this religion so this all converted into codes this data or responses on the basis of my this code sheet so i just have this now i have this data set a coded data rather and here i am going to what i am going to do is i am just i am just deleting my responses first so that i am going to calculate it for you so here you can see i removed gender from this particular category age religion state so total these variables are eight variables i am having so my k is 8 and k minus 1 becomes 7 then comes variance i need to calculate so for that as i am having this 49 respondent responded to my this pilot study so first thing is i am just going to calculate the total score of each respondent total score means let's say the first question i ask to this first respondent is age so he got this one score religion he got one score state got one like this he got a score in each question eight question so total score i will calculate here for individual respondent so equal sign sum i'll select these variable eight variables and enter once i do it will calculate individual score for my respondent 14 16 like this now i have to calculate the variance variance of these scores of individual respondent so i again equal sign var and i will use var as this is for sample and this is my sample score i want to calculate the variance of individual respondent that is comes 11.46 then after i need to calculate sum of variance so this is the first variance which means that individual respondent score and i calculated the variance of this particular one now i have to calculate variance of individual question so individual question means let's say age this is the responses of 49 respondent so i will calculate variance equal sign variance var s and i will select this one from age uh, one respondent 1 to 49 i will copy this formula and i paste it as a formula here and you can see i have got this value this is the individual variance of individual question now i want sum of variance of these equations equal signs s u m and i want sum of these variables and the sum is 10.08 so you can see that variance the individual variance is here you can see the variance total of these variance is 10.08 and the responses of individual scores the total variance is 11.46 now i'll put all these value to calculate from the help so first equal sign bracket k k is number of questions how many questions eight questions we have divided by k minus 1 8 minus 1 7 then multiply the next comes is variance so variance is 11.46 minus sum of variance 10.08 divided by variance 11.46 bracket close enter so the result is here is cronbeck alpha i just calculated here 0.13 so what does it mean my questionnaire responses or my questionnaire is reliable or not i need to find out for this we have a this table
from where we can identify whether my questionnaire is reliable or not. You can see here. So Cronbeck Alpha mine is 0.13. So the range starts from if Alpha, the Cronbeck Alpha is 0, there is no cons consistency in your question. If alpha is equal to 1, it seems like it is a excellent reliability. If it is between 0.8 and 0.95, this is the good reliability indicator. If this is 0.7 and between 0 0.80, it shows that again the good reliability. But if it is less than 0.7 or you can see between 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 or less than 0 0.7, it means that fair or poor reliability. So this means that 0.7 is the fair value of my reliability. But here as we can see my calculated reliability is less than 0.7. You can see that this is 0 0.13. This indicates that my reliability of this questionnaire is highly poor. I cannot rely on the responses I am getting from this particular questionnaire. So how to overcome this particular one? One is you have to again redesign and restructure your question, the sequence of the question. Further, it may be happen that your pilot study and the for which you conduct considered a sample, it is very low. You have to increase the sample size and there are other Remedies also for this Cronbeck Alpha if the value comes less than 0.7. So I'll leave that particular part for your further discussion and study. So I hope you like my video. Thank you for watching.